It's incredible, the technology, the power, and uh, I'm so proud of the people at NASA, all the people that work together, public and private. And when you see a site like that, it's incredible. The power of that machine and the danger, no matter how you figure. When you, when you hear that sound and you hear all of that, the roar, you can imagine how dangerous it is when you feel the shake, and we're very far away. but. You feel the shake over here. It's pretty, pretty amazing. A beautiful sight. A beautiful ship, too. That's really a beauty. Considered a beauty. I would say it's a beauty. So they have a long way to go, but that's a very dangerous part of it right there. That's a big part of the danger, what you just witnessed. So we're very honored to be here. Have you talked to Elon Musk? Yes, I have. I spoke to Elon. Well, I won't get into it, but yeah, but I speak to him all the time. Great guy. He's one of our great brains. We like great brains, and Elon's done a fantastic job. But that was a beautiful sight to see, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, we're going to be saying a few words inside, so I'll see you inside. Okay? Thank you very much. Very great honor to have you here. American astronauts returned to space on an American rocket from American soil for the first time in nearly 10 years. You did it. And, of course, none of this would have been possible without the personal courage and the unflinching skill of two American astronauts. One of them is an active-duty colonel in the Air Force. He, like his crewmate, was accepted in the NASA Astronaut Corps in 2000. He served on several shuttle missions. The other was the first Marine pilot to fly the Super Hornet. And he's logged hours in more than 25 aircraft. In fact, uh, his second flight was the very last mission of the space shuttle from American soil in 2011. So 
Would you join me in giving a vigorous round of applause to Commander Bob Benkin and Commander Doug Hurley. We are proud of our American astronauts. And today, under this president, we begin a new mission to return to the moon and ultimately land American astronauts on the face of Mars. The space shuttle launched in 1981, a long time ago. I am thrilled to announce that the SpaceX Dragon capsule has successfully reached low Earth orbit and that our astronauts are safe and sound. The names of Hurley and Banken will stand in the history books alongside those of legends like Alan Shepard, Gus Grissom, John Young. Now these brave and selfless astronauts will continue their mission to advance the cause of human knowledge as they proceed to the International Space Station before returning to Earth. We wish them Godspeed on their journey, and as one proud nation, we salute their fearless service. Thank you. Thank you. By 2024, our astronauts will return to the lunar surface to establish a permanent presence and the launching pad to Mars. And the first woman on the moon will be an American woman and the first nation to land on Mars will be the United States of America.